Okay, now we get into uh, mutations, which is kind of the creepy crawliness of things. Um, on the left hand side, we have a normal fruit fly. Uh, the fruit fly has its uh, appendages, it has its antenna. Um, you can see that the eyes are these big compound eyes so that it's able to see really well. And um, one of the things that we have with our biology majors is a lot of biology majors work with uh, fruit flies because their genes are so easy to study and mutations are um, easy to induce in them. And so uh, what we see in the normal fruit fly is the normal sized eyes, normal sized uh, appendages. In the mutant fruit fly, um, its eyes are greatly reduced and it doesn't have those uh, feeding appendages or the feeler appendages. So if you think about this in terms of uh, fitness, being able to survive. The normal fruit fly is going to be able to see everything it needs to see. It's going to be able to uh, react to its environment. If you are the mutant fruit fly, however, and you can't see where you're going and you can't tell where your food is, then that mutation would be severely harmful and uh, you probably wouldn't make it. So that's an example of a mutation um, that's a bad mutation. So uh, we have our different types of mutations um, and they have uh, very specific names to them. So let's look at a normal piece of DNA which is up at the very top. Uh, the normal piece of DNA is uh, transcribed into mRNA which is translated into a normal protein. Um, you can see the three letter sequences. If we have a mutation however, there are three different types of point mutations. Uh, the first one is nucleotide substitution. So notice in the piece of DNA um, we have a uh, substitution for the wrong base, base pair. And so when we, uh, when we transcribe to mRNA then we have the wrong piece of mRNA. And then when it is translated into a protein notice that it is um, it is coding for the wrong piece uh, or the wrong amino acid. And so um, if that isn't a deadly mutation then um, it may just do nothing. It may just not have the right amino acid. In the point mutation where we have a nucleotide insertion, this is where we have an extra uh, base pair which is in the DNA which makes the mRNA uh, make something entirely different. So notice in the normal protein we have MET, in the mutated protein MET. Um, in the uh, normal protein CYS, uh, mutated protein CYS. And then by inserting that base pair we end up with uh, the GLU which is that, uh, that little green uh, amino acid right there. That's not the amino acid that's supposed to be there. And that affects every, uh, that affects every uh, three base pair amino acid after that. So notice that it will change the entire protein after that um, which is not a good thing. Um, it, it says insertions and deletions can be much more harmful than substitutions because they can alter the reading frame for the rest of the gene. So in the first one just one am amino acid changing not so bad. But if we insert a base pair or we delete a base pair it changes every single amino acid that comes after that and that's where we have uh, really harmful uh, point mutations. So then moving on to, uh, to chromosomal aberrations. Um, so the first one were just changes in the DNA. The second one is changes um, in the whole gene. So notice uh, we have gene one uh, in normal chromosomes in the blue box three down right there. It says uh, we have the first code for gene 1, the second code for gene 2, the third code for gene 3. If we have a whole gene that's deleted, uh, gene 1 um, and then gene 2 is deleted and gene 3, um, if we're missing a whole gene that's going to be a, a, a really big mutation. Um, in gene relocation, that's where they move them around into different spots. Um, that one is not as bad as missing an entire gene. 
Um, and gene duplications where we have two of gene three, um, that creates extra stuff. Um, none of these are usually going to be uh, mutations that are going to be helpful. Every once in a while we get a health, helpful mutation. But most mutations either don't do anything or they result in the organism not being able to survive. And so in point mutations, one nucleotide is changed wherein chromosomal aberrations and tire sections of the chromosome are altered. So, let me Here we go. The nucleotide sequence in DNA determines the nucleotide sequence in messenger RNA and consequently the sequence of amino acids in a protein. A mutation in the DNA can result in a change in the amino acid sequence of a protein. One type of mutation that can occur either spontaneously or as the result of a mutagen is the addition of one or more nucleotides during DNA replication. Because translation of a gene begins with a specific codon and proceeds one codon at a time, the addition of an extra nucleotide shifts the codons in the mRNA. This type of mutation is termed a frame shift mutation. A frame shift affects all amino acids incorporated beyond the original site at which the addition occurred. If the new codon generated by the frame shift is a stop codon, the protein synthesized will be shortened and is often non-functional. Another type of frame shift mutation occurs when a nucleotide is deleted during DNA replication. Deletion of a nucleotide in DNA results in a change in the codons in messenger RNA from the point of the deletion and changes in the amino acids inserted into the protein. Okay. 